The Arizona Department of Child Safety is reporting a shortage of available foster homes and says the pandemic could be partly to blame. We might start to see a change in this, though, as DCS reports a rise in people becoming interested in fostering. Elliot Polakoff's in our newsroom tonight with more on how the DCS plans to get more children into loving homes. Elliot. Yeah, Jared and Jamie, first and foremost, DCS says it's about helping the general public become more aware about the potential benefits of being a foster parent. DCS, they've been trying to do that by posting videos on their website showing the impact foster families have in providing stability, even if it is temporary. It's the hardest thing we've ever done, but it's the most rewarding thing we've, we've ever done. Carrie and Dave Baker are no strangers to being foster parents. Over the last seven years, they fostered more than 15 times. The fun part to respond to the need is um, we've existed of what we call, as we describe it, as letting uncomfortable into our home. You know, if it, if it wasn't uncomfortable, nothing's worth doing. Now others in Arizona are interested in doing the same. We actually saw a lot of people inquire into being a foster family last year. Um, we think that part of that might have been due to COVID. Molly Mazeros is a foster supports manager with Arizona DCS. She says that the loosening of pandemic restrictions has created an environment where people feel more comfortable about becoming a foster parent. But the process of getting the necessary license doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes it can take almost half a year for it to be completed. We do see a lot of families who are really excited about the process and, and ready to take a child in their home tomorrow. It can definitely be a little bit discouraging once, once they're aware that it can take four to six months, but we do see a lot of people who are committed for that long haul. Which is good, considering Mazzaro says as schools have returned to in-person learning, DCS hotline calls for child abuse or neglect are up 25% this year compared to last year. Hearing that news is tough for Dave and Carrie, who aren't currently fostering anyone but now feel more motivated to do so. I think that definitely is definitely weighs on us a lot, yeah. And they've got a message for others considering doing the same. If the timing's right and uh, there's a little bit of uh, nerve, take a risk. Uh, these kids need somebody to take a risk on them. It's important to note that these kids haven't done anything wrong. Mazzaro says that's the biggest misconception people have about foster kids. There are a ton of other resources also available on DCS's website in terms of learning more about starting a foster family. We've attached that link on our website, azfamily.com. Live in the newsroom, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family.